showing you a cheat or a shortcut on how to solve questions for JAM or for WIAC or for any other exams you might be sitting for, maybe school exams. The cheat in integration, how to solve it very fast without not stressing yourself. Put it on this, share this to your mates, put this barrier, you can see I'm a young guy, uh, but this is it. How oh, I'm going to be willing to use that shortcut and so many other shortcuts will I also show you. Please like and subscribe. Please, your comment is essential. It helps to boost my channel. But I will do this in place to give you a shortcut on any kind of questions you post to me. You can message me personally and I am always available. I will make sure that I stick to your time and I will make sure that I deliver your content on time. So as to be ready for your own exams. Now for today, let me show you how integration works with shortcut. For instance, if I should give you the integral of 1 over s, we all know that at integration is opposite of what? Differentiation. For instance, now integral of s over s, the s, someone might say that take s off, that means s is minus 1. But remember that s is minus 1, if you plus 1 to this, and you write minus 1 plus 1. This is as writing as s is power 0 over 0. So this is a mass 0. So anytime you see any equation like s is by 1, and the next thing you should go is is going to be what? In s plus c. As simple as that. So 1 over s is known as what? In s. As simple as that. If you can know that, you don't need to store yourself in an exam by looking for anything much. Okay, let's go for this. A distinguished personnel message me. She said I should help her to solve questions like this for our exams, for our upcoming exams. Mostly jam. And I said, okay, I'll put her through and give her a shortcut on how to solve that. Because we don't need long cuts on that. Okay, for instance, if you're writing the school exam and you want shortcut on this, the yeah, first question says, find the integral of the integral of 2 over root t dt. How do you find this? The first thing you break this down is as 2 over root t simply means t raised to power 1 over 2 dt. Is that not? Take this up, it becomes 2 t 1 over 2 dt. If I want to solve this, I'm not stressing myself, I just go straight and write the integral of, I'm taking this up, now this 1 over 2 is going to be giving me minus sign here. So if I don't waste my time, I just raise this up. And what I'm going to ask straight, just give me my final answer. I don't need any fuck. So 2 raised to minus 1 over 2 divided by minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 1. So what do I have for that? The SM of minus 1 over 2 will give us what? 2. Uh, and what I'm going to have now? I'm going to have minus 1 plus 2. And that is 1 over 2 as my hands. So my integral over 2 t. 1, 1 over 2 over, okay, I don't need the integral at this point here, 2, t is power 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 plus c. Inverse of this is going to give us 4, t, 1 over 2 plus c. Are we there? So questions like this are very simple. What I did is just inverse of this, 1 over 2 can be, okay. For instance, now let's have another question. I have a question like this, so how do I solve? With what I've explained earlier, my answer for this should be u raised to the power 2 over 5 over 2 over 5 plus c. Why? Add 1 to this and divide it by minus 2 over 5 plus 1. So once we have this, invert, just use this one, bring it up, and we're going to have 5 u raised to the power 2 over 5 plus c over 2. You get that from that family mass, so that says that margin you have 1 divided by 2 over 5. It's the same thing as you have 1 divided by 2 over 5. Change this to times, you have 1 times 5 over 2. So the answer is going to be 5 over 2, just something like this we did. Okay, now we have the answers for this. Okay, so what about when we have something like... 4 s 2 s plus 1 square let's call it integral of this and we have here to be d s 
And we have to look for something like this. What we do first, we have to expand this. If you expand this, 2s plus 1, 2s plus 1, put down your hair scale, okay, integral of this. So, remember in jam, there's no time, you, can, you don't need to waste time. So what you just do that, you have to expand this on time. So why expand this? 2s times 2s will give us what? 4s squared. 2s times this will give us 2s. 1 times this got 2, that is plus 4s. Okay, we have plus 4s. Plus, and 1 times 1 is what? Plus 1. So with that, I'll just use this s again to multiply 2 again. If I put, if I times it by s, I have s cubed. But times it by s, I have s squared. And here I have s. Okay, if I find for the integral of this, the integral of this will give me something exactly as 4s raised to the power 4, divide this one by 4, plus 4s raised to the power 3, divide by 3, plus s, diagonal s raised to the power 2, divided by 2. Okay, 4 will cancel 4. So, we're done with that, plus c. Okay, anyone? So, as simple as that. Not very simple. Okay. What about when you have questions like... Okay, let me go to question 8. I love this. We also have a question like this. S. This part 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 just plus 1 divided by 0 0.3 plus 1. That's get, get, just get the answer straight. You get something like this. Uh, it's going to be S. Add this. You get 0 0.7. Right by 0 0.7, or you can put that at 7 over 10, 7 over 10, and inverse it. Anyhow, okay, let's have something like this. We have question for here. We have find the integral of s squared plus 3s minus 2 divided by the root s the s. And how do you find something like this? What is um root s? That is what is the s power 1. So what I'm going to do is now. This could also be written as r square divided by this with s, and with s is what? s raised power 1 over 2 plus 3s divided by this with s again, it's going to be s raised power 1 over 2 minus 2 divided by s raised power what? 1 over 2. Because that's the mean of this with s. That means this with s, uh, s square is divided by with s, 3s is divided by with s, and minus 2 is divided by with s. So what you are going to do, I'm going to move this up. Then when I move this up, ask to moving this up, we change the sign from 1 over 2 to minus. So you're going to have minus 1 over 2 plus 3s. Taking this minus, we're going to be this, uh, 2s. This having the visible weight power 1. And when minus 1 over 2 minus 2, take this up, that's going to be s power 1 minus 1 over 2. Okay, then if you're able to add this, then when you add it to finish, you plus 1 to each of them. To, to integrate it back to the normal signs, okay? Because this is still the integral of the S. That's now, when you add this together, you might have it something like, okay? Integral is, so in case you're like this, you're going to add this together, add this together, add this together. Now, when you add them together, anything they give you, then you integrate it by plusing 1 to the power divided by that power plus 1 divided by that power plus 1 and put your constant and that is your answer as simple as that okay the next question we're looking at here is just finding the integral of s is power 1 over 3 3 s 2 over 3 plus 6 ds this question is very cheap just plus 1 to this. Assuming I want to move this integral straight, I don't want to waste my time. Plus 1 to this, divided by this power, 1 over 3, plus 1. This one to plus 1, divided by minus 2 over 3, plus 1. This one to, this one is 6s, raised power what? Raised power 0, plus 1. Because there's s here, but s is invisible. That is why s to power 0 is 1. So 1 times 6 is still that same 6. But when you write s to power 0 plus 1, and divide by 0 plus 1, okay, and you plus your constant, okay, then with this, you are, once you can solve this, if you, can, if, if, if you are good in mathematics, just 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3, and bet you can do better in integration, 
Please like and subscribe, support my video, send it to your friends and more of. You can see I'm just doing this video at night because I want to help a friend. She just gave me this question. You too, if you're watching me right now and you need and you have another question that you want to solve, that you're looking for fast way to solve it, you can inbox me. My number is Zaro. 7025056477. That is our WhatsApp phone number. And you can also check us on emperorelectricalworks.com.ng where you're going to see more, 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 more related questions you can love to, you love to solve. I just released one of my contracts how to solve integration by parts, which most students avoid. You'll see how I solve it with an easy method. Check the inbox link, you are going to see it. Check our description link, you're going to see it. And Please watch it next for this later. Let's solve this. This is integral of 5 e raised to the power 3s. So how do you solve equation like this? Just write the area 5 e raised to the power 3s. This is 3s times inverse of it 1 over 3. As simple as that. Plus c. You don't need to be looking for s plus 1. No, no, no. Just something like this. Because of this is an in. Cut in s. So to solve this, my answer will be 5 over 3. E raised to the power 3s plus c. Find the answer. Okay, you can see that I saw this less than maybe 7 seconds or less than. Okay. How about when you have questions like this? How do you solve questions like this? First of all, bring this back to differentiation format. The adding, you're going to have 3s. 2s raised to the power 1. Remember that the s is having 1. That's why what's making the s to be raised to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 and that's going to give us um, 3s raised to the power 2 divided by 2 is that not? Um, these 2 and 1 here were not put for just fancy it simply means that input 2 here and subtract it from it so 3 and I see yes I'm going to put 2 over 2 minus into bracket I'll write this and I will put 1 next. This place will be positive, but at this point I'm going to write minus and I'm going to put that. So 3, um, 1, you don't, have to, you don't need to put minus 1, just put 1, then square, divided by 2, plus C. Solve this and you get your final answer. By putting 2 square is what? 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 3 is what? It's going to be 6. Okay, 1 square is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, 3 over 2. Okay, you don't need constant here. You don't need constant here. Okay, so with that, solve for this.